just talked to Jamil Muhammad, really interesting kid. How did you guys identify him and see his potential on the Georgia State? Yeah, just you know, going through that portal, evaluating guys and you know, kind of hone in on, you know, guys you think would fit and had a chance to go down and, and meet him there, me and uh, Coach Grinch and just instantly talking to him. You knew, like, oh, this kid is, like, all business. He doesn't mess around. He's very serious. Uh, already really, you know, had his academics squared away the whole nine. So um, that, it was really refreshing that now that he's here, he is exactly what he was when we first met him. So I'm doing a great job. What did this film show? And was there like one play that just jumped out to you that kind of locked him in as a quick Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, obviously, uh, just a huge need for uh, guys that can get to the quarterback. I mean, that was just a big focus this year. Uh, something we thought we lacked a lot last year, to be honest. You know, need guys that can uh, get to the quarterback. And uh, easily on film, you can see him bend and turn tight quarters. He's got a real good lowers. You know, lower body, so you know that tends to, to help guys, you know, be able to uh, you know, turn that group of things. And, so, and, and it's been spot on through uh, five practices. Any part of him that's still raw, just because he hasn't had a ton of experience in that position. Uh, you know, just just really trying to learn how we do things. You know, um, not necessarily from a terminology standpoint, because he really picks up things fast. Just more so just my style and hey this is how I want you to do it and um, this is you know um, the same thing you, you me and you were talking about but this is how we do it you know what I mean but don't talk about a fast learner now he's it's like one time and he's got it so um, again great 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 get in the portal for us were you surprised to learn he'd only been playing for a couple years um you know the one thing that's interesting about him he was he was recruited out of high school to be a quarterback. So I knew going in, he got to be pretty sharp. And he was actually a quarterback at Vanderbilt. So I knew like, okay, I got a guy that's, you know, got some got some wits about him. But uh, not, not really not really uh, any surprises. You know, he, he's been spot on what we thought he'd be. I know Lincoln has talked about wanting to get more production from multiple guys as opposed oh, yeah. to relying on, especially Thule with the one guy. How satisfied are you currently with the makeup of that group of just being able to get more production from a wider group of guys. Yeah, it's it's honestly it's it's really refreshing, you know, through five practices seeing, you know, Jamil, seeing, you know, young Sam Green, seeing uh, Anthony Lucas, man, I mean, you know, you solo is I mean, these guys are taking a step, man, and just having more bodies, you know what I mean? I think you can never have enough uh, pass rushers on on the guy on a team, and that's what kind of separates a lot of teams, you know, okay. just having guys that can just keep rolling in there, so. Are all these guys working at, at your, your spot at NDN, or they going back and forth? Yeah, we're doing a lot of back and forth, a lot of cross training, a lot of carryover to the positions. You know, one guy's on two feet, one guy's in a three-point stance, but there is a lot of carryover, and, and uh, you know, I think that's something, even last year, I mean, you know, Nick Fig played a lot of ball for us last year. He really was an end, you know, playing that weak side position, so. Same with Solomon uh, Bird, so uh, we, we, we tend to cross train those edge guys. Outside of noticing the lack of maybe getting to the quarterback that you mentioned earlier, what are some of the other things that you noticed from last season about the defensive line? Well, it's first year, so you know, that, that you're going to notice a whole lot that you want to improve on. Uh, I think we had a ton of missed opportunities when we got to the quarterback. Um, if you watch the film, uh, it's not the lack of necessarily getting there, but it's finishing. You know, and so one of the big things we saw on film was that we weren't uh, kind of getting under control once we get back there, you know. And so we've really tried to focus these early days on, uh, you know, your footwork, long strides, short strides, shuffle, shoot, like get under control as you get back there, you know. And then focusing on where we're attacking the quarterback. A lot of uh, uh, opportunities, we were too high, slipping off of guys, grabbing around the waist or even higher and so we just have put a lot of emphasis on body position at the point of contact and, and just how we finish um, at the ball or so and, and I, I think it's um, been paying dividends I mean it's practice but we've been seeing some some good positive steps that way. We talked to Alex on Tuesday kind of about just the aftermath of the bowl game how you guys processed all that what do you recall from coming off that game and when you guys got back together how you made sense of it move forward all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was gut-wrenching. Um, 
you know, I'm really hurt for those seniors and those guys, you know, playing their last games. You can, you can, you know, obviously I would understand having the type of year we had. We, you know, we want to finish, you know, um, and so we didn't get that done. So that starts with us as coaches. We take full ownership in that. And, and uh, as you said, you know, we look each other in the eye, just like any season, um, you know, had we even won that game, we we're going to look ourselves in the eye and say, hey, what are the things we can do better going forward? And those are not fun conversations. Those are not, uh, you know, hands around each other meetings. Those are very um, brutally honest interactions with us. And, and we, we trust each other. We've been in this thing for a while, so we understand that's part of it. And we understand it's our job ultimately to get whatever things need to be corrected, corrected, you know. And so it's a challenge. Um, so we all step up to it and, and embrace that. And, and uh, you know, and, and the other part is that, you know, we also understand that, you know, year one, man, you, you, you're trying to get a lot done in year one. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I think that I don't know, you know, if the outside people thought we'd be sitting there 11 games, chance to win the Pac-12 championship, chance to go to the playoffs. And, and so, you know, those expectations change as that year goes on, uh, again, on the outside. And so, but, you know, ultimately, um, we're excited for year two, excited to go back at this thing and added some pieces and, you know, some guys improve from year one and us as coaches improve. And so it's exciting. Let's do one more. I know you talked about uh, a lot of guys cross-training. Yep. You've gotten pretty used to not having a ton of edge rushers over there, it seems like. Is that a position you feel like you guys could definitely add maybe here in the last year? Always, uh, we always have the philosophy you can never have enough edge guys. I mean, we try to load up um, at the at the edge positions, you know, because guys get a, a broken toenail or, you know, I mean, guy, you know, sick stomach, whatever it is. Like, so you just always want to have viable guys because it really affects the game from a defensive standpoint if you uh, don't have guys that can win one on ones or if you're short or like last year, you know, where, um, you know, just not enough guys getting there and finishing it, you know, and so. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep on loading up the position. It's going to be a highly competitive room in that D-line, rush, linebackers everywhere. And these guys know that. I think we charted it today. we got 22 guys on our defense that have started at least one game in college football. That is that's phenomenal. Like That's a competitive group, you know, if you look at it from that standpoint. So the expectation and the standard is really high this year. And so we're going to go at it with everything we have.